Ja. Yeah. Fan of the Hauraki Big Show podcast? Make sure you check out more from Jay, Mike and Keezy on their Instagram at Hauraki Big Show or tune in to them 4 to 7 every weekday on Radio Hauraki. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Do you know what? What is give it a hoon? That rings a distant bell. Well, that's what our whole station is. Oh, is it? Give, give us a hoon. Oh, give us a hoon. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Did it's, you think it was a new promo? Oh, I assumed. Right. Yeah, we're, yeah. Doing, we're doing two live shows next week. Oh, you yeah, could. I, I thought it was yeah. three, actually. Three. One's from a food court at Sylvia Park. Yeah, good. Uh, one's from a wild bean. Cool. And the, <laughs> uh, to be honest, have a hoon is more the way we, I've used it in the past. Give it a hoon. You, don't give it, you know, you have a I hoon. I always thought sort of give it a hoon was sort of lovemaking related. Yeah, have a hoon on it. Yeah, have a hoon on it. Gives a hoon on your missus. I, eyes well, uh, to the front, Keezy. Bloody hell, that please. was a full scan then. That was a full Keezy, doughy-eyed scan. <laughs> <laughs> it was like giving... Because Jace was. You were giving it what I like to call the hoity J. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Mogi, come on. J- Jace was originally this morning got a text saying he wasn't going to be here today. That's right. He had right. a medical issue. Yeah. Uh, boy, I'm glad you're back, Jace. Can you, yeah, talk us, can you talk us through it? Because I don't know. All oh, right. Mm. Well, it actually um, happened yesterday. But you didn't want to go on about it. And um, I had a, quite a painful armpit. Oh, yes. Um, in fact, a very painful armpit. That's why I was so sort of grumpy and short-tempered yesterday I during the show. I didn't think you'd be happier. Um, and, yes, and then when I woke up this morning, she was a full-blown <laughs> golf ball. No, bigger than a golf ball, actually, I'd say. Oh, as big as a house. It, Cricket ball? If I if I showed it to you, fellas, under my armpit here, you'd and go... You sh- can, I look? Can, no, I, can we see it, please? No way I'm showing you Can it. we please see your armpit? No way I'm showing you Can we get that it. up on socials? No, no way. Can we get the pants man in here to take a photo of that? And in fact, um, <laughs> and and a big rash down my arm, and I was in a fair amount of pain, and I went, I've got to get this seen to. Because that's good for you, because usually you don't. And uh, because I, I had... I think I had a bit of an infection on my shoulder from a scratch that I had there. Because you were always picking at it. And Look it was, at you picking at it It was now. itchy, and I think it spread around and went under my armpit there. Um, and so it was quite funny. But, oh, I don't know if I can say this on air. My wife works at a medical centre. My wife. And I rang her up and I said, darling, um, I'm going to have to go to A&E. I've got a bit of an issue going on here. And she said, oh, Come to our place mm. where she works as we've got a walk-in clinic, right? Yes. And I said, oh, okay, sweet as. So I, dro- <laughs> I drove down to her place oh, this and, is wa- be good. And, and walked into the reception there and said, hi there, blood. my name's Jason. Um, I've got this thing going on and uh, apparently you guys got a walk-in clinic. And the receptionist said, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, oh. That's really weird because my wife works here and she told me that you guys had a walk-in clinic and she said, oh, who's your wife? And I said, blah, blah, blah. And she went, oh, no. (laughs) And I went, oh, okay, that's a bit weird then. Um, Sorry about that. And she said, I'll tell you what, just sit down (laughs) and we'll get a nurse to see you and and see what's going on. And I went, oh, thank you for that. I apologise. I've got – I misheard. Then I text my wife and said, you guys don't have a walk-in clinic. And she said, I never said we had a walk-in clinic. I said, Newland Health has a walk-in clinic. <laughs> Your doctor. And I went, oh, my bad. And she said, oh, Jesus. Yeah. Because it makes her look bad. It does. You know what I mean? Really bad, actually. So then the nurse looked at it and went, Jesus. Um, and then she, she said, said oh, Jesus. Yes. And then the doctor, she said, oh, See if I can get a doctor. If not, you might have to go to New Lynn. And I went, okay. Oh, that's where your wife suggested. That's where the walk-in yeah, clinic is. Yeah, 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 yeah they've got a walk-in walk-in. clinic. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's bloody handy. Then the doctor looked at it and went, oh. Fuck me dead. He says what the doctor said. No, he said, that must be very painful. And I said, yeah, it's pretty uncomfortable. And he said, yes. Um, and then what did you say? And I went, uh-huh. I'm just a bad... <laughs> I'm a backbone. I shut up and get on with it. That yeah. sort of um, stuff. And then he wrote me out a prescription and some stuff to put on my wounds and then said, Give right. me a look at your wound. So, yeah. I mean, wait, wait, so you still haven't actually gone to – are you sure he gave you a thorough 
seeing over and his was prescription a wasn't enough to fix it. He was wearing a warrior's jersey. Oh, he had a warrior's jersey. Yeah, he was wearing a warrior's jersey. He was a medical okay. professional. Okay. No, well, he's a doctor and he looked at it. Yeah. That's their best tool. And had a look and went, oh, yeah, we might have to drain that. Did he drain it? No. Uh, but he said, well, well, the medication, you'll douche, douche, douche for the first couple of doses. And yeah. Hopefully that'll reduce it. Yeah. And then we may look at, if it's softened up a bit, we could drain it. Wow. Can I Can I be there for when that happens? No. What about the pants man with yeah, his camera? Yeah, can we get the pants man in there? Fuck the pants man. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine that thousand likes on Instagram video of Woody oh J's God. armpit. It would be, that would go off. I reckon we could do a live broadcast from you getting your armpit drained. And, and then I come in here and our boss, Toddy, tells me a story. He had the same thing and nearly died. <laughs> yeah. And so now I'm feeling a bit woozy. <laughs> that is so f- I love. Yeah. He's like. And I feel slightly feverish. So it's like, oh, Jason's well, got it. And my throat's is, going weird. But what's interesting is the other day you were saying you were feeling woozy. Yeah. And then it came to nothing. Uh, and now you're feeling woozy. Yes. I fancy that'll come to nothing. He feels woozy during the podcast. And then forgets about yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. But busy. It's been but a my, busy my day. throat's feeling a bit blur. Because yeah. you've got you to gotta add into this my daughter's been really crook. Yeah, I and mean, all but, I don't, although but she, I don't think that's been, related. I don't think it is either. Um, so, but you want to add it in anyway? I, you, I've got a feeling it's going to add itself in. <laughs> oh, but, I think you've added it. <laughs> because my wife was coming home. <laughs> when my wife came home from work today, she was feeling a bit woozy. Oh, was right. she? And she is a backbone. Well, she yeah. felt sick. <laughs> she is an actual backbone. She's an actual backbone. <laughs> yeah. But because um, it's her husband just came to her place of work and acted like a buffoon in front of everyone. <laughs> I, <laughs> The Hauraki Big Show, weekdays from 4 on Radio Hauraki. The Hauraki Big Show podcast. It was really funny because I was saying to them, I was like, I'm, I am so sorry. <laughs> this isn't my wife's fault. I completely misheard what she said. <laughs> and he was like, oh, no, that's all good. That's all good. He, oh. It was very quick, five five minutes at a look, and then he typed typed out the prescription. And She's, She was going to get a promotion. That's gone now. Yeah, yeah, probably. I do like the idea of buffoon chat. Buffoon, eh? <laughs> buffoon is really good. That but not good. just for you, Joe, for me as well. Oh. What buffoonery have I been up to lately? Hmm. Probably the most recent is you dropping your phone in your poos. In the shitter, yeah, that yeah. was a goodie. That was a goodie. That is so bewildering to me. Like I just Well, it was in my back pocket, I in can my totally, jeans. I can totally see how so that So it's in my back pocket. And like then your I'm, wallet pocket almost. Yeah, yeah my yeah, right. wallet pocket. Generally, I'd be on my phone, so I don't know what was going on there. But you were on your wallet. But I was pulling my pants up, and obviously it then was half hanging out and then just straight Went. to the shit. Did you F and Jeff? I'll be honest with you, I'd had a couple of beers, and I didn't really care. Yeah. That's a good thing about a few beersies, isn't I it? I would have been horrified <laughs> have, otherwise. If, if you were sober. But the end of it was sticking out, the phone was of the phone was sticking out. So I didn't have to get shitty as fingers. And then in the basin? And then straight into the, uh, I just flushed the toilet and then flushed it again and held my phone in there. And then because I was hanging sort of bent over the toilet, I felt sick and I puked all over my phone. <laughs> um, yeah, straight in the basin. And then I was worried about it fucking getting, out. Yeah, getting wet. They're waterproof, but it, aren't they? Water well, resistant. Was it, yeah, water resistant. Right. So I, was, I thought if, it, if ever there's a phone on the planet that's not water resistant, it'll be mine. Yes. Uh, but yeah, tickety-boo. Are they poos resistant, though? That's the thing you want to check. Well, they seem to be. I yeah, think okay. a little bit of shit got stuck in the microphone bit. Because <laughs> everyone's how so, good, yeah, it's pretty Yum. good. Because he called me this morning, and I, he's talking and a lot my of breast, shit. And then you talk about like shit, and my breast melt like shit. I couldn't decide which joke was best, so you're, I, you're I walking, left it alone. Walking around the house, looking at the soles of your feet all the time while you're on your phone. Yeah, going, what the? <laughs> what if I stood where's that in? fucking shit smell coming from? Yeah, my mouth. <laughs> That's horrible. Like, because I fixate on weird shit like that. So, like for example, I had to recently. You know how the toilet seat gets wobbly? Yeah, I've got that. And so I was like, right, I've got to fix it. My parents are coming to stay. And I don't want my mum sliding off my toilet. Exactly. That's when you do things, right? When you've got visitors coming. And so I had to pull it apart. And the idea that I have been pissing and shitting into this thing for like years. And now I have to get hands on with it. Right. And so I just wash my hands, wash my hands, get in there, do all the work, do all the work. And then instantly wash my hands twice. And I have to do it twice because the first one just gets the worst of the bat bugs off. Well, I, I did a weird thing. True story in the toilet today, actually. Buffoon shit. I, it, it was pretty buffoonery. I sat on the toilet and I was taking my morning dump and I went, and I went, this feels weird. Oh, oh my God. God. 
You forgot to take your pants off. You forgot to take your undies yes. off. No, I took my pants down, <laughs> but I hadn't. But I, the seat was up. I, I hadn't put the seat down. You so just, I was just sitting on the rim of the toilet. Oh, my God. Don't like, you know it's the so moment weird? that your legs hit it? <laughs> well, I was a bit dis- uh, distracted by my impending death. Oh, yes. <laughs> so you're sitting in the toilet with your golf no, ball armpit. In, I'm not in the toilet. I was just around the rim. <laughs> I just see you sort of hanging back there like a little kid. My legs Halfway dangling. out of the toilet. Hey, I've got a question for you then, Keezy. What kind of toilet have you got? Because uh, the place we've moved into, that has got this a similar thing happening with the seat. But it's one of those ones where you can't get to the screws yeah. because it's totally enclosed. Oh, to adjust it. Yeah. It's probably got like a clip thing that you have to like force up and click off. Yeah. And then you'll be able to. That's what mine has, these two cap cover things. But oh it, yeah, right. It depends. It's like silver. Yeah, on the top. Yeah, because generally you just reach underneath the and seat, tighten. But, yeah, yeah. And, but it's fully enclosed. Yeah. So the top ones, it's literally um, pop the caps off and tighten those screws. Oh, okay, sweet. All That's right, what I do. Because it fucking annoys me. The other thing that also annoys me about this toilet that we've got, it's a very, very small horseman. You know. Sure. So when you sit down on the toilet, your your the wall. Your knees are against the wall. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. And so it's not comfortable at all. So I sort of find myself turning, not quite at a 45, maybe a 38, 37, just towards the door a little bit to give myself some knee room. And space. That leaves every time I go to the toilet, there is just shit all over the walls. (laughs) 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 But all up the side of the toilet, you know, because my angle's wrong. Because you're you're coming at the wrong angle. I don't like it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know if there's anything you can do about that, Keith. Nah, <laughs> sorry, bro, can't help you there. <laughs> if I just twist my anus around. Oh, oh, have you tried dropping your phone in it? I'll give that a go tonight, actually. I'm going to have a few beers and do a shit. <laughs> <laughs> sorry to everyone out there. It's gross when people talk like that. Hey, but happy Mataliki, though. Oh, yeah, totally, man. man. Long happy weekend. New Year's. It's going to be great. So good. What are you guys doing? I like a Mataliki. Honestly, how, how, was, how was the weather today? Beautiful. Beautiful. Actually, Amazing. I found it Some a bit winter. cold, actually. Well, that's probably because, yeah. Could you feel it in your golf ball, man? My, Can you feel it in your golf balls? My golf ball feels... Your flesh balls? Burn, your pus balls? Burning and sharp painy. Well, that means we're going to have a beautiful... That means um, that's a portent, if I can say that, Jay. It's a portent for the year to come. That I'm going to have a burning and it means it's going to be a great year for me and Keezy. Oh yeah. right, not yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You're 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 knocking on death's door. Well, I, I feel like I am now, and I I'm quite concerned. <laughs> and my throat's gone all weird. Well, too. I tell you what, over the course of the show, we're going to make you feel so much better about it. Hey, but yeah, just keep an eye on me. Just see if I change colour or something. You know, like if I'm suddenly pale or whatever, because okay. I am suddenly very husky. No, you're great. Have, is it because you've been punching darts? After Toddy's story about him almost dying? No, because I didn't bring my darts with me when right. I heard that. I would, I would have, if I had a, had a dart, then I would have had a dart. When you sat in the toilet this morning. I didn't sit in it, I sat on it. Did you have without, a shower afterwards or have you got toilet ass right now? No, I, I generally do my dump and then have a shower. Yeah, that's the way you do it. Yeah, yeah. the old midnight steamer trick, that's good. Yeah. Uh, anyway, hey, thanks for listening to this great podcast. Listen to the Hodaki Big Show 4 to 7 every weekday on Radio Hodaki. Thanks, mate.